Let's look at some key facts about mobile apps. Every business wants more customers. Well, at least they should do. Every business wants more orders from the customers they have. It's a great way of growing a business. And of course, every business wants their customers to spend more money on each order. And it's all down to business leads. That's really what we're talking about here. It's about generating business leads to generate more business. And leads come from traffic. And mobile traffic is absolutely booming right now. In fact, if you look at this chart, as of January uh, 2014, mobile apps generated more internet traffic than desktop computers. Uh, and way more than just simple mobile browsing. Now, the key to it is the growth of smartphones, of course. And in the UK, 64% of mobile phone owners use a smartphone. 53% of consumers say they'd like to be able to download a brand's mobile app. And there are key reasons for this. 72% of consumers expect brands to have a mobile website. But only 22% of brands actually have a mobile website. There are over 6.1 billion mobile phones worldwide. Globally, there are more mobile phones than toothbrushes. And there are more active mobile phone accounts than people in the UK. 94% of smartphone users have looked for local information on their smartphone. 84% of those have then gone on to take action as a result. More than 50% of users are willing to receive location-specific advertising. This is advertising where someone moves into your local area and you start advertising to them directly on their smartphone. 77% of smartphone users have actually made a purchase on their smartphone. Consumers commonly look for stores' locations on their phones. 71% use a store locator to find a store near them, whether it's restaurants, electronics, beauty and apparel. Smartphones inform our daily lives. You know, people are looking for product information. They want to know about restaurants, travel, job offers, apartments, all kinds of different things. And local information seekers take action. 64% connect with a business, whether that's online or in person. 65% visit the business, again, whether online or in person. 24% told others about it through social media and other means. 38% made a purchase after finding local information about a business. 55% of consumers using mobile research want to purchase within an hour and 83% want to purchase the, within the same day. Mobile research influences purchase. 93% of people who used a mobile to research go on to make a purchase from that research. Again, whether it's restaurants, apparel, electronics, they all make massive decisions based on the research they do on their mobile devices. Retail spend via smartphones and tablets was worth $182 billion in 2013. It's forecast to be $707 billion by 2018. That's a 388% growth expectation. App usage is ubiquitous. On average, there are 33 apps installed on every smartphone. 12 of those apps used in the last 30 days, and 8 of those apps are actually paid for. Do you have a mobile strategy for your business? With mobiles now outstripping desktop computers, it's critical that you do. But aren't mobile apps for big businesses? Well, there are mobile app developers that charge as much as £200,000 for app development. So it's little wonder that many small businesses think mobile apps are just for the big businesses. But I'm going to show you that you can create a powerful business boosting app for a tiny fraction of that price. So what can mobile apps do for small businesses? Well, Key information is held on the smartphone, so they can still access key facts about your company, whether it's the location, the phone number, whatever it is, without actually having a full internet connection. They can directly dial your phone number from within the app with a single click, no need to type in the number. Direct in-app purchases, you can run M-Commerce, and we'll come back to that later. You've got newsletter publications. Many businesses publish a blog or a newsletter on their website that's very rarely read by anyone. They'll send out emails telling people about the latest uh, articles that they're publishing, but most people ignore them. But when they're published directly within an app, they become far more compelling. 
corporate blog integration, portfolio features to show products, photographs and other images, slideshows, video shows, event countdown timers, calendars of events, charts and graphs, push notifications, online radio, audio programs, directory of locations, maps, display Google Maps of your locations, email, send emails from within the app, SMS, send an SMS message from within the app. Voice messaging allow users to record messages from within the app. In-app browser, view web pages from within the app. Magazine store, publish your own magazine which they can read on their iPad, their iPhone, their smartphone. Notes, allow users to record notes from within the app. Social media integration, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. In-app PDF viewer for ebook publications and more through native code pages. So who can benefit from mobile apps? Well, pretty much any business that has customers that it wants to keep in touch with can benefit from a mobile app. But here are a few factors that make mobile apps particularly beneficial for a range of organizations. So if we look at restaurants, you can put the menu, the location map, coupons, push notifications. You can do online reservations from within the app. Takeaways, they can order their food in app and then collect in store or have it delivered. Location map, coupons, push notices. Again, coupons sent through on a push notice is an incredibly powerful way for um, a restaurant or a takeaway to generate extra business. Retail outlets, click and collect, m-commerce, hotels, 360 degree room views, in-app booking, schools and colleges. You can do event notifications, location maps, push notices, course information, um, and much, much more. So if you've got snow days, things like that, where the college has to close, you can push out a notice to all the users. News sites and publishers, in-app pu subscriptions, news publication, push notices, the BBC News app is one of the most common ways that people will get their news. Accountants, and the list goes on and on. We've got many, many more business op opportunities. No business would fail to have a website, yet mobile apps account for more internet traffic and there is less competition. So why is it that so many businesses fail to have a mobile app? Well, for most, it is the cost, but we're going to come back to that in a minute and I'm going to show you that that's no longer a barrier in the way it used to be. So what are the keys to a successful mobile app marketing program for your business? Well, first one is get started now. You know, the competition out there is small at the moment, but this is a big market and a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon because they know that this is the future of mobile communications. Start small and build your program incrementally to control costs. There's no need to go out and spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on getting a mobile app when you can do it for a fraction of that cost today. Also, do it with zero extra work on your part. And that's where we come in. We have our Platinum Collect mobile app for businesses. And this is specifically designed for small businesses who want to get an app out there to generate real interest and real business in their marketplace. So what's included? Well, you get a splash screen, which is the screen that comes up at the start of the app. You get five content pages, which are pages stored within the app on the smartphone so that users can access critical information about your business from within the app even when they don't have internet connection. A location map, a contact us page with a contact form which will allow them to put in a question and contact you directly via email. Direct news field with unlimited posts. If you've ever seen the BBC News app or the Sky News app, they have a news feed that's going all the time that people can just jump into and read the article. You, we can put that directly in and it's included within this app directly from your news feed from your existing website. A menu page to allow you to allow users to jump to the right information. Unlimited push notifications. You can send out as many push notices as you like to your customers. Every time you have something valuable, you can push out a no notice to everybody to tell them to check up on it. Fully set up for both Apple and Android, when it includes uploading to both the Apple App Store and Google Play. So how much does this cost? Well, the normal price of an app of this type with all this would be around about £2,000, if not considerably more but we're bundling all this together for a very special price 
of £697. This special price is available only until Christmas. So take the first step and let's get started right now. Contact us today on the Contact Us button or through our email.